Good afternoon. Uh, we're sitting here together, Cisco, NetApp, and uh, VMware, to talk about uh, long-distance vMotion and our joint uh, proof of concept and solution we're working on. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Thomas Scheiber. I'm Director of Product Management in Cisco's Data Center System Architecture team. Hi, I'm Ravi Nilakant, a Technical Alliance Manager working with partners uh, designing and architecting joint solutions. And I'm Joel McKelvey of NetApp. I'm also a Technical Alliance Manager and a Solutions Architect working on long distance vMotion. Okay. Um, let me go over a little bit of why is long distance vMotion of everybody's mind. Uh, people for the longest time talked about data center recovery and uh, disaster avoidance, avoidance mechanism. What makes uh, long distance vMotion interesting now is the additional aspect of workload mobility. Uh, companies are looking at how to actually provide that capability within their data centers across data centers in the cloud. Uh, what we brought together here is the different aspects that are needed actually to make that work. Uh, three main points. One is how do I extend my LAN between data centers? Uh, the second one is how do I provide the storage extension between the data centers to actually move with the virtual machines, the storage as well. And then the third piece is really the uh, integration between the virtualization layer uh, and, and the network and the storage. So key issues here, uh, what we're bringing out on the Cisco side is the uh, Cisco OTV, the Overlay Transport Virtualization Technology. A fantastic uh, new opportunity for customers to put in uh, a very elegant solution on the, on the LAN extension side, uh, as well as uh, some of the integration. And Ravi, you probably should comment on this, what we do between vCenter and, uh, yeah. and the network. <coughs> Thanks, uh, Thomas. And uh, what we're doing from the vCenter side of things is we have the AS and the GSS integrated into events that are happening in the vCenter and help helping in redirecting uh, traffic, IP traffic from one data center to the other. And in addition to that, as uh, Joel was commenting earlier, as uh, Thomas was commenting earlier, he was saying that there is workload mobility which has become very important. What vSphere brings to the table with its advanced features like dynamic power management is you can actually start uh, consolidating your VMs or workloads into one data center during off-peak hours, turn off power in the one other data center so that you can start conserving power and cooling within the data center. And uh, you will probably see more and more of this happening in terms of the integration between the network, the storage, and the uh, virtualization layer of the application itself. and in addition to that, what is probably most critical in this whole thing is the storage piece, where you have to have data available on both data centers. And that is where I think uh, we've worked very closely with NetApp uh, to sort of pull this solution together. And Joel will probably talk a little bit more on the storage aspects of the solution. Joel? Sure. So for application mobility, storage is a hugely important component, as you said, Ravi. And uh, NetApp's FlexCache offers highly available data at uh, two data centers between which you're moving VMs and maintains high performance between those two data centers as well while uh, behaving highly efficiently. So it's an efficient mechanism for maintaining performance between data centers and storage availability to VMs as they transfer. So thank you very much for listening to us today, and we look forward to engaging with you further in the future on long-distance vMotion.